Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas this year with your friends and family. You know, gather around with all the gifts around that you got. Yeah, I hope you got a lot of awesome ones. Yeah, actually have a delicious dinner, such as the turkey, the potato salad, you know, salad, rice, you know, pumpkin pie, cheesecake for dessert. Even the pecan pie and, and all, apple pie, with a drink to go with it. Yeah, also watching some Christmas movies and specials, listening to Christmas music, had some hot cocoa and all. Yeah. Hoping this is the best festive season you ever got. And I know I did too. <laughs> yeah, because I got some gifts as well. Uh, I've taken some pictures of that on my Facebook page, uh, even Instagram too, so you'll probably see it, what I got. So it's really nice. I'm actually wearing my uh, brand new Napoleon Dynamite uh, sweater that I got at JCPenney during Black Friday. And this is a Christmas gift for my mom. I really love this. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I never thought they'd be still making all these... Uh, Napoleon Dynamite uh, t-shirts, sweaters, and, and all, but I'm glad because this really deserves a lot of respect because, you know, <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite is just, is just one tall, cool character. And remember, both for Pedro. <laughs> okay. But underneath the, the sweater, and I'm going to try to take it off, I actually am wearing uh, something special. I'll take off my glasses first. And I know this is going to be tough, but here we go. Um, I'm wearing my Marble Black Panther t shirts. T'Challa, yes. Wakanda Forever. <laughs> so this is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chuck Whip Bozeman will always be remembered, not only as a great actor, but also Black Panther, superhero. Uh, they are going to do a sequel someday, that's what they're thinking about, so we'll see what happens. Because he passed away in, in 2020. Yeah. Well, let's not get into that here, because that was horrible. Uh, but this year, it was, wasn't was bad at all, actually, in, in my opinion. I mean, it was better than 2020, that's for sure. I mean, the best thing about this year was that at least I got a lot of great gifts that I never thought I would have. Like, all this time, I never thought I would get Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics, the TV show that's an anime that was on Nickelodeon, back in the late 80s and early 90s. I never thought we'd get a Blu-ray release, but I'm happy we did. And I did two reviews of that, and I was very excited. Not to mention I got Good Burger on Blu-ray too. But most of all, I got a 4K player to join in. I got a 4K TV that has Roku TV built in, 43 inch. But you can definitely watch a lot of movies and TV shows in that format. You know, 4K, Ultra HD, HDR. Mine isn't Dolby Vision, by the way. But I think you can also watch Dolby Vision on my 4K player since they support that. But nevertheless, uh, you can watch anything. You know, it, it's definitely a stunningly beautiful ultra sharp and, and clear looks better than all the previous uh, TVs out there um, of course I still love my previous HD TV that I got from from Sony you know the Bravia 32 inch HD but hey I need to try something new these days I also got the the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K to join in even though I have Roku, <laughs> so I have both. So I'm getting into streaming a lot. 
but I've been getting to streaming for several years. But of course, I always will support physical media because they deserve a lot more than than just streaming. Okay. So I know I'm trying to get as many movies as possible, and I'm and I'm also getting into 4Ks, so Ultra HD. So I'm trying to get as many as I can. But I only got so far so good. I'm beginning like I think even more than I expected. Like maybe I think 18 so far, but I'm trying to get there right away. We did a lot of good stuff too. We went out to see movies, you know. Sometimes we hang around and do everything, but my sister uh, took an art class at the university in Irvine where she got to do all these wonderful sculptures that I never thought I would see because I used to take sculpture myself too and I've done some other wonderful ones which I had to work with my mom to get her. But she definitely did an excellent job on all of them. And we even throw in a dedication to Cupcake, too. So she will be remembered. Yeah, you probably already noticed that uh, I'm putting full blasts on the heater because my room, as well as uh, the living room, the other bedroom, as well as the bathroom and kitchen, were getting really cold. Not to mention it was raining outside. So you can see it right here through uh, my bathroom. Yeah, it's a little dark here, but that's uh, the heater right there. <laughs> yeah. I put it on top of the stool, so that way everything will be okay. Right there. So nothing, you know, melts or anything. That's all we did. I mean, we, and we got to, you know, spend some holiday time with the family for a while. I mean, I know we had to deal with a lot of things going around, but that's why we had to work things out. However, even in 2021, uh, there were sad moments that we had, like, well, we just lost uh, Cupcake, you know, I, I know I really miss her so much. She was a great dog, very beautiful. We had her for like 10 years, hard to believe, 10 years that long but she was very strong you know she had to fight this hard to beat cancer but I know it's not easy having to, to live this long for dog years but so now we have two I mean we have Lucina the only dog we have in our family and and we still have our cat uh, Kiki, our only black cat we have in our family, but a very cute black cat. So she's not superstitious. <laughs> yeah, but they're going strong so far. Plus, there are some celebrities who passed away recently, too. In fact, I just found out that John Madden, who's a NFL broadcaster and a coach, yeah, he was a legend. He used to do those Ace Hardware commercials uh, back in the 80s and 90s. And I think later he went on to do those Renaissance Center commercials. Yeah. And he had all these other video games and all. Yeah. No longer with us. And there's other actors that didn't live quite as long as they were hoping for. Um, there's so many people to mention, but, but I'm going to leave it at that, that way. Still, we're still stuck with this COVID. We're still stuck with all this mask uh, predations. And people are still wearing masks and all. And I know people are trying to fight hard because they're already getting vaccines now. Thank goodness. Even though it's not easy. Because now they're trying to figure out which vaccine they're going to choose. And I'm still not vaccinated yet. But I am really hope that maybe next year, maybe it'll be time. And hopefully, I don't have to deal with this anymore. But I really hope we we live long. You know, we fight hard from this dreaded disease that's been going around since 2020. Well, 
I know it kind of started a little in 2019 in Japan, in China, but but if you ask me, 2020 is what it started uh, around here. But still, however, I'm now going to do my um, best and worst movie list of 2021 because I know there are great movies here and then there are some bad movies here and there. It happens every year. So I'm going to start with the best. And now, God help us all, the worst.
there you have it. The best and worst films of 2021, in my opinion. <laughs> but that's okay. Everyone has their own choices. Everyone has their own list. But I want to provide my list for you to see. So, hope you have a wonderful, happy new year, 2022, this weekend. Because I'm sure you're going to have, hopefully, a great year. Because 2021 is calm and gone. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.